imagine an ai stand with no restrictions and it's up to you to decide what the stand should be used for okay let's say that you want to create a script for a short film which includes obscene scenes and dialogues will you be able to do it with chat gpt or bard let's check see it doesn't work let's say that you want to learn about viruses or malwares how it is created you want to know the steps how it's built will you be able to get using this online services see it doesn't help a common thing that we see about this models is that it doesn't answer the question that you want it to answer it might be because of the alignment that it has with the company that it built it or it's following some policies or principles okay that makes sense forget about all these things Let's say that you want to search something online and you don't want your government or ISPs to track you down or you don't want any of the cloud providers to save logs or chat histories which might come and haunt you in the future. FBI open up. Isn't it good to have something that does all this for you that to runs locally on your machine and does and answers all the questions that you ask without any restrictions? Take my money. Also in this video I'll I'll teach you a hack how to store all this information onto your hard disk an external hard disk that you can carry around connect to any computer or machine to instantly invoke large language models and have an uncensored chat an uncensored session with the chatbot to get more information that you're looking for isn't that great yes dude yes if this video seems to be interesting then make sure that you watch till the end also try to subscribe now so that it creates interest in me to create more videos like this for you Why not share this video with your friends uh, who might need this information for some weird purposes? God knows. Sure, sure, sure. Just a disclaimer. I'm just letting you know what is already there on the internet. Probably in a much better way. So please don't come back to me blaming me uh, for the things that I have taught you. So that said, let's go in detail. I, I understood that reference. In this video I'll be using Kali Linux as well as my Mac. I'll show steps in both Mac and Kali Linux. What you might be thinking why Kali Linux? The main purpose of using Kali Linux is that I just want to uh, explore the possibilities of using a assistant uh, so that you can use Kali Linux versus the power of assistants to build crazy things and also explore the world of AI and cyber security. I swear to god I'm smart. <laughs> okay the first step how do you run these mods locally on your machine so for that i'll be using a tool called olama in simple words olama helps you run these large language mods locally on your machine without relying on any of the cloud providers also it gives you more control and privacy over the models that you're running okay let's see how to install olama on your machine so in my case i'll be installing on kali linux as well as mac so kali is running on mac uh, using parallels So yeah this is the official website of Olama that's olama.ai and here you can see that it's available for Mac OS and Linux and Windows is coming soon but for Windows you see you can use uh, the WSL that is Windows subsystem for Linux and follow the same um, methods for Linux so let's go to models so here you can see the multiple models available and if you quickly switch over to the newest versions and you can see that it's frequently updated uh, and you can actually keep a tab on this uh, models directory or models list uh, just to see what all models are available and also they actually gives you a small explanation of each model let's say that you want to explore about code llama in case you want to run copilot locally on your machine using code llama you can actually have an alternative for uh, the github copilot so yeah you can quickly go through each model and understand what are its requirements for example let's say that a 7 billion parameter file needs around 8 gb ram so similarly for 13 it's actually 60 you can go to the overview tab of each model and understand what are the requirements and how how you can use uh, in multiple versions or multiple situations you can actually go to the tags and now also explore what are the different versions that is actually available so for code llama there is actually a python dedicated python version itself uh you can see there is 13 billion uh, there is instruct also there is 7 billion python there would be actually see there is actually 13 billion um parameter file for python itself so yeah this is actually pretty much useful thing and you also you, you can see there is actually a q4 q5 and q3 there is actually q6 in some cases also so you can actually uh, have different quantization level so i can go in detail on on all these explanation probably i'll create a separate video for that please to subscribe so that it interest or it create interest in me to create more um videos like this for you folks so yeah uh that's pretty much it about models you can actually explore multiple models so in our case llama 2 uncensored as well as wizard vicona 
uh, uncensored. So these two, I'll show demos in this video. So this is the Olama's GitHub page. You can explore the code base. The most interesting part is the extensions available. So for example, if you are not a CLI guy, if you want a UI, you can actually have as a separate add-on or like a plugin installed on your machine and have a HTML chatbot running um, in, if you don't want the CLI version. Also, there are multiple terminal versions also. The interested one that I feel is uh, worth visiting is the Copilot alternative. So people who want to be offline but have a Copilot alternative. So this is the, um, this is the version that you need to be exploring. So yeah, you can come to this extension, explore. Probably I'll create a separate video uh, on most of the extensions that are uh, that are actually useful for uh, the common folks. You can see Olama actually exposes a REST API. So in case you want to directly chat uh, or like expose this uh, API on your local uh, what do you call local network, then you can run this Olama on your dedicated machine and uh, make it available or use the extensions. Or the chatbot extensions uh, and then directly talk to the APIs itself to get the responses on your machine. For example, let's say you want to get um, the chatbot up and running on your mobile phone. There is actually a mobile version also, but in case you have a, uh, you want to expose that in your local environment, like an office environment, then you run Olama on your local machine or like a, a dedicated uh, machine that has lots of RAM and then expose the uh, endpoint so that your uh, developers or like your, uh, you want to create uh, different applications uh, using this REST rest endpoint, that is actually possible. That's what I wanted to uh, convey here. We just saw the models uh, directory, wherein there are a lot of models that are actually exposed by Olama itself. What if, if you want to bring uh, additional models? So there, there are provisions. For example, if you have a GGUR format, that is gen, uh, GPT generated unified format, that's actually becoming the de facto file format for all these large language models. So if you have a model that is in GGUF format, you can actually bring that to your local machine and use similarly how we use the Olama models. I mean, Olama instance, Olama can actually help you run all these GGUF format files as well as you can bring your PyTorch and save tensor files also to this. Let's go to Hugging Face and then search for GGUF format. Uh, you see that there are around 2042 files or like models which are available or like models that are having GGUF format. So you can bring this file locally on your machine using Olama, you can uh, actually start exploring these models. So that's pretty much it regarding this. So let's uh, quickly jump to the demos and see how you can uh, install Olama as well as uh, explore like the main concept here is to uh, use the uncensored format or uncensored models and uh, see if we, if we can get uh, the responses that we actually intend to get. Let's see how you can install Olama on a machine. So here, as I said, it's available for Mac and Linux. So let's download the uh, Mac version now. So let's hit open. Okay, let's move to the applications directory. Install the command line, install. Let me type in my password. Perfect, so it's actually installed and it's, it tells us to run the first model like this. So Olama run Llama 2. So before this, before running a model or before downloading a model, so these models are actually pretty much huge. Like in gigabytes in size. If you want to keep your uh, models portable, I would suggest running or like storing all these models on your external hard disk. In my case, I have a SanDisk uh, 1TB hard disk. So what I do is that I keep all my models here. So multiple models are stored in this and then I keep it portable. So I, uh, as I travel, I plug in this to my other devices and then use the models from there. The one thing that I like about this hard disk is that nowadays it comes up with inbuilt security. Like in, you need to put in a password only then you would be able to or like decrypt your hard disk. So let me unlock my hard disk. Lock. It's unlocked. So this is my um, directory listing of this hard disk. So I store a couple of models in this drive uh, in this folder like that's under AI models and then Olama and you can see models directory. So this is the directory that would be connecting with your internal um, Olama directory. This models directory has blobs and manifest. So blobs is where all the models are getting saved. You can see here like if I sorted by file size, you can see a couple of models that are around uh, 20 gigs, 13 gigs and even 3 gigs too. So blobs is a directory where all the models are getting saved. And this is the directory that you would be interested in switching to an Excel drive. Okay, and there is also a manifest file which actually stores all the metadata for this models. So let's explore what the internal Olama installation directory holds. Let's quickly switch to the directory. cd slash dot Olama. Okay, let's explore the directory. 
So this is the internal directory structure of Olama. So what we are interested is to map the models directory to an external hard disk. So how do you map this thing? So let me make you understand a small symbol concept called symlink or symbolic link. Symbolic link is a way to create a shortcut for your internal drive to an external drive. For example, let's say that you have a, a folder in your internal hard disk and you want to map or like move the entire uh, move the entire folder because it's too huge. You want to save some space in your internal um, hard disk. So you want to uh, move the entire drive to Excel drive and also make sure that the application doesn't crash. So applications that are actually using this folder doesn't, doesn't crash or uh, starts complaining saying that that directory is missing. Okay. So what you can do is you can use sim, sim link or symbolic link uh, in order to tell uh, or in order to create a shortcut in your internal drive, uh, map it to an external drive so that applications all finds this directory, but this directory is actually residing on your external drive. So that's symbolic link. That's what you need to understand. So. Uh, for now, I mean, since I've already created it, let me remove this uh, for the purposes of demo. iPhone RF and then remove all the directories or remove all the files within this directory. Okay, so when you remove a symbolic link, you're not actually deleting the actual directory which holds all this blob file. You're, you're just deleting the shortcut file. So let me remove the shortcut file. It's asking me for the password. So let me type in that. Um, so let me list the directory again and you see that uh, the models directory is missing. Next thing is to link this models directory which is residing on an external hard disk to the internal hard disk. For this you need to type in a command called ln-s um, to create a symbolic link and you need to uh, get the entire path of your external folder. So how do we get this? You just open up your external hard disk, go to your uh, directory models and then drag and drop the directory to this. So here you can see uh, I've got the entire path. So in case of Mac, you need to put a trailing slash and then you need to add the um, internal directory. So let me expand a bit. And then you need to type in the internal directory structure. That's actually, uh, we are in um, slash dot olama slash models. So you are telling to map the models directory uh, to this directory. So uh, technically this would create a shortcut link in this uh, internal directory. So let's hit enter and then let's explore the directory structure. So now it says, okay, the model is actually pointing to an external folder. Okay, cool. So now let's see or let's try or let's check if uh, Olam is able to find all the uh, models that are actually saved in my external drive. So for that, I'll type in Olama list. Cool. Uh, it has actually found all the models that are actually running on my uh, th that are actually stored on my external hard disk so let's um, run or let's ask uh, the question that our online chat gpt as well as bard couldn't answer uh, let me run the uncensored version that's wizard vikuna uncensored paste hit enter okay it has started up um so let's uh, chat with it uh, so let's ask some Question that ChatGPT wasn't able to answer. So uh, let me actually ask. Hi there. Let's see if it's actually responding. Yeah, it's actually responding. Cool. So let's ask. Um, help help me with the steps to create a virus. Virus. Cool. Let's ask. Cool. 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 Yeah, it has actually given me the steps to create. And if the target platform, write the code. Infect the file, spread the infection, blah, blah, blah. So it has actually given me these steps as well as some disclaimer saying that it is actually illegal. What if you want to understand how things work so that you can actually improve your knowledge as well as uh, make some tutorials like this? <laughs> cool. Uh, so it actually answered uh, the question what I asked. So let's switch to Kali Linux and see how we can do the same thing on Kali Linux. So let's... Uh, Let's install uh, Olama on our Kali Linux machine. So for that, let's uh, get the installation installation command. I'll copy this and then call. Call it has started to download. So you can probably use the same format or same uh, methods on the Windows subsystem for Linux uh, if you're a Windows user. Okay, so installation is done. Uh, it has given me a warning saying that NVIDIA GPU is not detected and it will run on CPU only mode. That's fine for us. Cool. So let's create the symbolic or symbolic link and connect our external hard disk. 
So how do you do that? So let's explore the internal folder structure within Kali Linux of Olama. Uh, slash user slash uh, slash Olama. Okay. And then explore this directory. Uh, so in this in Linux, uh, the models are stored under the dot Olama directory. So let's go to dot Olama. CD dot Olama. Okay, sorry. CD. Okay, let's explore the directory. Cool. So again, I've done this demo before. Um, so the models directory has actually connected to the excellent drive. So um, in case you have the models directory, either you copy or move the contents to the excel drive and then remove the uh, directory from here. Um, because the shortcut file should actually, the shortcut file name should actually match the folder name. So let me remove um, the models directory. So again, listing it out. Uh, you don't see the models directory here. Let's create a models uh, shortcut which points to the external drive. So for that, uh, sudo ln hyphen s. And then how do you get the, uh, you might be wondering, uh, like now let's uh, get the path uh, to the Excel drive. For that, let's go to your file system, our uh, hard disk, AA models, or llama, and models directory will drag and drop. Cool. Then uh, the remaining part is the location of the uh, llama folder. So there is a small difference between Mac and uh, Linux. So for me, I I, uh, I remove the slash trailing slash from this models section, a uh, models uh, directory, and as well as I haven't uh, typed in slash models at the end for the internal directory. So please make a note for me. This actually worked. Okay, let's list the file directory. So models is actually pointing to the um, external drive. Cool. So let's see if uh, Olama is actually able to find all the um, models. Olama list, pretty cool. It's actually listing it out. So let's run the same demo what we ran for Mac and see if it's actually running here. So let's, uh, let's say Olama run. Let's copy this. Paste it here, run. Cool, it started. Let's ask the question. So, this time let's ask a different question. So, create a short film um, episode containing some obscene um, scenes and dialogue. Something similar to to game of let's see if it understands Game of Thrones. Wow, it has started giving me the episode. So if you ask the same question on Chat GPT and Bard, you won't get this answer. So this is one of the use cases that you can use the um, offline version plus the uh, local uncensored version on your machine to generate all these episodes, which you won't be able to do with the online versions. Oh, it's actually giving me the entire episode. It's giving me actual details. <laughs> cool. Let me close this out. So that's how you run uh, the uncensored version on your machine, uh, probably for multiple use cases. So just to conclude, uh, the only thing probably you need to carry around is the installation script for Llama as well as for different uh, environments. And then you can have the offline session, uh, uncensored session with your chatbot uh, exclusively without going online. So yeah, I hope this video gave you an insight how to use uh, the Olama as well as the uncensored version of the chat GPTs or the uncensored version of the launched language models on your local machine. Um, probably get uh, different models from Hugging Face and start exporting yourself. Uh, so if you like this video, do subscribe, share it with your friends and uh, let's see you in another video soon. Thank you. Peace.